Okay, I'm starting this video very much like if things were just starting a church. And hopefully, I'm going to cut to another screen right now. You'll see that the screens often don't do what they're supposed to do. So what I do, you hit Windows P to pull up how you want to project the second screen. We always do extend. Windows just loves to change that for some reason, all the time, and it drives me nuts. Now you can see on the second screen and on the projector that it's not the actual desktop with all the little icons. It's actually going to be the good, clean output like we want. Now, I'm going to open ProPresenter and I'm going to open up the ATEM. The ATEM usually takes a while to recognize and find itself. Connecting with the Mini Pro. Alrighty, and here's where we don't want to mess with any of the outputs. You want to go to the palette. This is where we're typing in our settings. So these numbers here are the ones that we want to try to match. And so they are supposed to be 0.5, 5.5. The size, 0.45, and 0.45. Alrighty. It's 0.5, 5.5, 4.5, which will do 4.5. And then really, this is good to close. The only thing we need to really, really worry about uh, while we're logging into this is just setting this DVE camera one to those settings. All right, and this is we want to make sure, as this is the picture of the ATIM itself, you want to absolutely make sure that the microphone button is on. Okay, just for reference, I have some music playing through the system, but the mains are off, so you can't hear it. But you can see how it's peaking on the yellow. And what that means is, is we need to come over here to the mic down and do that down until it's staying in the green. If it starts getting in the yellow, then we have um, problems with the audio. And another thing to please do every single time, if there is not music playing from the laptop, keep those muted because that channel will buzz and buzz the whole time. Cool. All right, we're coming back to the computer here. We're going to close the ATIM. It is set up. And here's ProPresenter. All right, I'm going to add a planning center service. We're going to pick the upcoming Sunday. Hopefully it's going to load. There we go. It loaded up. So now you can see all the different things here. The very first thing to do every single time is come to all of the songs and click this so that way you can make sure you can edit things and that it is on our version of the song. So we're going to go to God So Loved. We're going to click that as well. It's on MEFC. Okay, we can make changes as we need. Scrolling down before the throne of God above. Click that. MEFC. Good. All right, we've got scripture reading in the sermon. So that gets us started. Another shortcut to know is Control Shift V. That brings up all the different backgrounds that we can use. All right. So we're going to do Sing to the King. And let's just say we want to use that background. We can drag it up. All right. If you want to get rid of it, you move, you do remove. I right clicked on that. Sorry. Right click, remove action, cross sunset. All right. Control Shift V gets that to go away so you can see the screen better. Now, I have been trying to add in blank slides to everything um, just because it helps. So, if you want to add a blank, blank slide, go to Reflow. And what's always kind of annoying, as you scroll to the bottom, you insert a break, <clears throat> click the little arrow, 
and we're going to go to group blank okay now we can go back up to show mode you see there's a blank slide there a lot of times i move that baby to the front what that means is when you first start the service you don't have to start with words already on there and <clears throat> you can add a background and you can see it'll just look good you don't have to mess with any of the stuff we're ready for the song there you go it's good to go and we're back to the background dropping so we're going to work on that maybe we'll just keep the backgrounds out for a while this will get you a basic setup and started with the service.